international troops are scheduled to leave Afghanistan by the end of next year. And when they do, many Afghans fear the Taliban may return. And this could result in a new wave of refugees from Afghanistan looking for a new life in the West. But a shady Khan Saif reports from Germany, living in a different culture isn't always easy. 25 years old, Vaslat Hasrat Nazimi has been living in Germany for the past 20 years now. Her parents decided to leave Afghanistan to escape the civil war in the 1990s. Now a prominent journalist in the German media, she says she had witnessed an influx of immigrants from her homeland to Europe. Well, on one side you have the generation, the first generation, who came here and who left their home country and who uh, never got over the fact that they left their home country and the, the prestige and the chances they had, they left them everything just for the sake of for security. And uh, then you have the younger generation, and um, I think that the younger generation is very torn apart between the Afghan culture and the German culture, and they struggle to find a way in, in between, but for most of them it's very hard. So they're neither Afghans nor are they German. Waslat's parents were educated and lucky enough to enter Europe legally. But a large number of Afghans risk their lives crossing borders illegally through Pakistan, Iran, Turkey and Greece. Twenty-four years old Bari Alai Arghoshi is a classic example of an illegal immigrant. He has been living in an asylum seeker's dormitory for six years with a basic stipend from the German government. He is still waiting for his asylum request to be granted. It's estimated that there are over 100,000 Afghans in Germany alone. The Afghan community organizes poetry and music festivals each year to stay in touch with their roots and introduce their native culture to the younger generation. But being thousands of miles away from home makes it difficult to preserve their identity. Many young Afghans have embraced Western culture and can no longer speak their native language. Linguistic expert Pecha Urai Shinwari runs Pashto language classes for Afghans in Germany. But nobody has turned up for his class today. For many Afghans, leaving the past behind and embracing their new country is the only way to survive. Mohammad Assad is the only Afghan to be selected for Germany's national cricket team this year. Kerkoma, dear, I can't do this. I'm not going to be Afghan. 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 I'm not going to be Afghan.
اخو من دیر خاصه پریوته را وچه تول ده نور کارون سخه زن را کلی دیو کرکت که مشغول شوی دی تا چه خپل اموری ده دقل لبدل چی ده جوله شوی ده چی ده از ما شده را مرسا اول نم کرده و غارم چی روسی موسیم که غارم چی اخوا دیو مخ کراشی و زی چی فکر کم اول مالی پار تعلیم مهم ده ده بعد لاغی چی ده کرکت But others like 29 years old Rahimullah Faqir finds it hard to move on He has been living in Germany for the past six years and sells electronic goods at an open market. He misses home a lot. چون پکی است تو مجبوری است دو زیچ باز داد کو دیز کو دیز سرام زن آیار کو مشکلات دل تمون دیر لرو نه دیواز نه دیواز دکار پاک لانور دست کultureی مشکلاتی داغ مشکلات دی. For Asia calling this is Shadi Khan Saf in Bonn Germany. And that's all for this edition of Asia Calling, your window on Asia. For more stories from our correspondents around the region, visit our website at portalkabeer.com. I'm Rebecca Henschke. Thanks to your company. Goodbye for now.